and the House of Representatives Joint Committee investigating the arbitrary increase of cement price in the country has demanded documents of proof of production costs from major manufacturers in the industry to justify the price of the commodity in the market. The committee also berated the Federal Competition Consumer Protecting Commission, FCCPC, for its laxity and inefficiency, which significantly contributed to the high cost of the commodity in the country. But undoubtedly, just as air is to the human being, so is cement to the built industry. And with a housing gap of over 16 to 20 million in Nigeria, you will know that cement plays an integral and critical role in the economic well-being of our country. I was reading somewhere today, and the Minister of Housing said that the Nigerian people will be needing at least five trillion annually to address the housing shortages. With such staggering figures, it leaves nobody in doubt that any increase or any insensitive adjustment in the prices of cement will have a multiplier effect on the people of this great nation. Right now, Nigeria is at its lowest ebb. Threats of protests, cries of hunger, tears of desperation and despair. Members also frowned at the excuses given for the justification of the price increase, which was hinged on the rise in foreign exchange. You see, the fundamental problems that we are facing now in this country is as the result of unnecessary increment in prices of commodities. And these commodities most of the raw materials that are being used to produce these items are found in this country. You don't import them. For example, like the cement, it constitutes about 75, 70 to 75 percent of the uh, uh, material you use in producing cement. Yes, check. Then all that things. But here we are today, Nigerians are very angry dudes. We have been praying, talking to the whole nation, especially the youths, not to go for what they are planning to do. That's the, 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 the uprising. Earlier in his presentation, the group managing director of Dangote Cement Company, Mr. Avin De Patak, said 95% of production costs are either imported or linked to foreign exchange. Our average products has gone up by three times. Our AGO prices have gone up by three times, 2.3.33. Our gypsum cost has gone by almost 3.23 times. Imported coal has gone up by 2.33 times. Spare parts, almost the same because they link to the dollar pricing. For example, if I look at price in Nigeria if I convert into dollars. Our price per bag is 4.43. Price in Benin is 7.48. Price in Togo, this is the selling price at which a retailer pays. Price in Togo is 6.65. Ghana is 7.06. Cameroon is 8.31. Niger is 7.06. Kenya is 5.37, India is 4.42, and Zambia is 5.14. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.